I have actually found a natural spring and it's one of two that exist on Juman. I know this because our friend Rexon has been living in this area for his entire life and he says that he knows of two natural springs at Juma. One is the one that we're standing at right now, the other one is at Voyatella Camp and it's why there was a settlement on top of quarantine clearings was because there was a spring there that allowed people to get water in the dry season. The camp is built on top of that spring and it's where we all get our water from to live. The other one isn't as productive obviously but it was just as close probably about two miles away. Now the spring itself is collected the water is collected in this area here and then comes out of the ground in this pond basically and you can see that the amount of inflow there is absolutely not the same as the amount of outflow that is here. Come and have a look over here. This is the outflow of this particular spring and it flows into Treehouse Dam. Just have a look at this. This is water that's just coming straight out of the ground. Now, while I'm not saying that this is safe to do in any way because what you've got to try and do with water is you always got to try and scoop the top layer of water out. So when you are in an area that has springs coming out, don't quite know what's always in these places. You always got to just try and scoop the top layer. So this is the top layer from that pond that you were just having a look at. And you can, I'm just scooping the top layer here. It's the most oxygenated of the water there. You can see inside my canteen. Obviously giving it a sniff before. But you know, there's nothing wrong with taking a sip. Now I can tell you that uh, there's no hyena carcass that's lying inside that pond because I can't taste the, 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 the rank taste of meat that's inside there. But <coughs> it's still a good idea to boil this even though it comes straight out of the ground. Just have a look at how much water that is. I mean, my canteen is one liter. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. So we're looking at 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. So we're looking at four, or one liter every four seconds. So what's that, 250 mils of water a second. A cup of water in terms of baking. So we're looking at a cup um, of water every four seconds is just coming out of the ground over here. Isn't that just the most amazing thing? I think I might actually just have another sip just because of that. It's always a good thing in an area like this to have sips of water that you can. It gives you all the necessary antibodies, I suppose. Ooh. I love drinking water out of the bush. It's one of my favorite things to do. That's in mountain streams. They just taste so fantastic. Now, come and have a look here. This is Treehouse Dam. Whoa, whoa. It's okay. <laughs> It was the aerial attacking me there. It's all right, we've just got a bob and a weave going there and just got our face out of the way. Have a look at our full uh, treehouse damage. Isn't that incredible? And now we know why. Not only is it rain runoff, but we've also got a decent amount of water pumping out of the spring. It's going to be quite interesting to see how long the spring actually uh, runs for. I mean, we haven't had that much water this year, to be honest with you. We've had a lot, but we haven't had by no means a high rainfall year. And yet, the gurgle of water, my favorite. Ah, this actually made my day. Hey Dave, it's quite nice to see you. Eh?